As part of our videos on raising successful children, we have included some advice on specific issues that might arise on the parenting journey. Raising successful children means there are many hurdles that need to be overcome, and one of them is a teen's first date. So we've included this video on advice for a teen's first date. Let's be honest, parents actually need to survive a first date more than their teenagers. Here are a few ideas to prepare yourself and your child for D-Day. Sis has started peeking over the back door and Johnny has started making fiery speeches about why he needs more pocket money. The day you wished would not come soon is here. Your child is going to be alone in the company of the opposite sex and you're breaking out in a sweat. No need to worry, we've all been there and survived. What now? The question is going around like a merry-go-round in your head. Be strong, there is hope, and many before you have survived this. Using the following guidelines or life belts for yourself and your child. Good manners are never out of fashion. This point is not negotiable. It is any parent's right to meet the person into whose hands they are entrusting their child. For instance, if a boy is coming to pick up your daughter, it is just good manners for him to greet you. And if the parents are coming to fetch her, it is a good opportunity to meet them. Clearly set your house rules and curfew. One date does not mean marriage. Remind your child and yourself that a date does not have to be serious and is an opportunity to get to know someone better, to see whether you really like them or not. Also, it is a good thing to know a few different people before becoming serious. Kissing is not sex. Be prepared that they will become amorous and not tell you. Try to remember the excitement of your first kiss. Accentuate that your child is in charge of his or her own body and that they must make sensible decisions. It is part of growing up. Don't make your child feel guilty if they fall in love. It is a healthy and unstoppable part of the course of life. The confidence to be able to talk to you about it is a more important priority to work on. Trust your child's upbringing. Tell your child that you trust him or her and leave it at that. Don't nag and fish where it is not necessary. Your trust makes them more responsible than what you think and your example usually makes a deep impression on them. Remember your own excitement and share in your child. You are making memories together. This is a special moment in your child's life. Take the trouble to be part of it. Talk to them about their first date and show sincere interest. Grant them the excitement of intrepid teenage love. Remember, if you build a solid foundation with your children from an early age, the door to communicating is open and they will listen to your advice and follow the example that you have set for them. If you found this information useful, then look out for our other videos in this series and also on or around this page you will find some special offers for our parenting community. Offers on our many different parenting products. These were written with you, the parent, in mind. We are committed to helping you build strong, happy, communicating families. And our many books and courses do just that. Remember to look on or around this page for links to some great special deals. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel if you liked this video. And once again from Deborah and the team at Radical Kids, Happy parenting!